Hit the button and sure, create, whatever. Creating Sonic Unleashed system data. Do not remove the memory card in slot two. I'm still confused on why it just defaulted to slot two. Did slot one not have enough data or something? Or like space? So it was just like, well, we'll just switch to slot two then? <laughs> Does it just automatically use slot two instead of slot one? Sega. That's weird. I'm confused. It's a weird thing for a game to do. Like, a lot of games don't even seem to support slot two. And this one was just like, that's the one we want. <laughs> Screw slot one. It's all about slot two over here, boys. It's a super dramatic opening for a Sonic game. I feel like we're watching Star Wars. This is definitely an Eggman ship. Bro, we got subtitles though. Let's go, dude. I can't answer the questions for you, Noodle. <laughs> it's a self-administered test for a reason. You gotta answer the questions. How do you honestly feel? I feel like this uh, cutscene is gonna be the coolest part about the game. <laughs> like... <laughs> I'm not trying to be negative. It's just like they're hyping up the game with all these cool explosions and like Sonic literally running circles around people, dodging missiles and all that, you know what I mean? And then we're going to get into the game and it's going to be like we're running 15 miles per hour and <laughs> getting our ass kicked. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong, but I feel like that's what it's going to end up, you know, being like. Do we get a start with Super Sonic, though? Like, bruh, I'm down to go Super Saiyan and murder some fools. We're gonna lose them. Right? There's no way they give us superpowers right off the bat. Or this might all just be a dream. <laughs> Is Sonic Unleashed a sequel to another game? Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe this was like the ending of Sonic Leashed. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, or just his last adventure in general, maybe. Well, this is new. Showing remorse, Eggman? If you played nice, I wouldn't have to break all your toys. Gotcha. What? Oh snap. Sonic about to get fucked. Rip those crystals right out of him. Sonic is dumb? Man, okay. So <laughs> here's how I made this connection. Sonic, Super Sonic, obviously stole from Dragon Ball Z, Super Saiyan, right? <laughs> like, that's pretty obvious. And then you said someone's dumb, and thinking of Dragon Ball Z made me think in the beginning of Dragon Ball Z when Goku just lets fucking Raditz go because Raditz is like, I won't kill you all, I promise. I'm, I'm all better now. I was just joking, brother. And Piccolo's yelling the whole time, like, don't fucking listen to him, dude. He's lying. He's going to turn around and kill us if you let him go. And Goku's like, do you promise to be nice? And Raditz is just like, yeah, dude. I <laughs> I promise. He's like, all right, bro. And then just fucking lets him go and gets his ass kicked. Sonic is Goku's furry OC. Yes, exactly. 100%. <laughs> Sonic is Goku furry OC. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like it. I like it, man. What the hell is going on now, though? Is that, like, the live stream from Final Fantasy VII or something? Oh, wait, that's an arm. This is a person. Oh. 
Now we got Wear Sonic. Yeah, yeah. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> we, I think we followed the same exact thought process there, my guy. And all the chaos crystals just went black. That's good. Oh, so this was on purpose? What? I'm very confused. Is that Earth? Did he just knock a giant hole in the side of Earth? How is everyone not dead? There's literally a chunk of the planet just floating there. So, okay. So this kind of is like the live stream for Final Fantasy VII, man. <laughs> like, is it healing the planet? Because it looked like they were almost holding the pieces down from, you know, scattering or something like that. You think it's killing it? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Interesting way to start a game here. Uh... What kind of options do we have? Anything that matters to us? Oh, we can play in any language we want. That's actually kind of cool. You don't see that too many with at least American releases. Vibration settings? Hard. I never understood why people turn vibrations off in games, man. I, I like the vibrations. There's a how does food feel in your mouth question. Yeah, noodles are very... uh texture person for food 79 not bad man lower than me likely autistic but better than me <laughs> i was at a 99 just under 100 for me personally roughly half of my score just came from uh liking to be alone though <laughs> like or with like very close friends basically like that sort of deal. Yeah, create a new save game. Why not? Oof. Wait, what'd you get? <laughs> Guess my score? Uh, 120. One forty-three. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's not too bad. That's like, what, roughly average for an autistic person? So, like... <laughs> I was half expecting something like ridiculously high because you said oof and then shit. <laughs> like, but I was trying to keep it realistic. Like, if your average autistic person is only 150, I didn't want to throw out a number like, ah, oh, you're probably at about 200. <laughs> 130 is the mean what for autistic people. Diagnosed autistic people. Okay. I knew it was somewhere around there. I just couldn't remember exactly what it is. I mean, it's an online self-administered test. It's not 100%. There's a chance you're not, but likely, yes. <laughs> what the hell is this thing? Tail's looking a little odd, man. <laughs> Don't eat me. I taste bad. <laughs> you okay? Nothing broken? Oh, I'm just fine. Thanks for asking, Mr. Monster Guy. Mr. Monster Guy? I think I already hate him. Looks like things have gotten pretty ugly. Oh my god, Sonic. Yeah, look at those teeth and those claws. What's your name, anyway? I'm Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. And you are? 
What is my name? Is this the thing that the planet unleashed? What? You forgot who you are? Feel like this is the the big energy thing. And everything just going all white. And then nothing. I can't remember a thing past that. Uh-oh. Did I fall on him? This is interesting. This is something. Somebody who knows you if we look around. Oh, thank you. You're the best, Mr. Monster Guy. I mean, this dude is super annoying, guys. <laughs> Can we eat him? Is that an option? Can we just <laughs> eat him instead? Oh, uh, yes. The, the hologram thing is a pretty ordinary texture, in my opinion. Hey, we're back to normal. Like uh, holographic stickers and things like that, you know, where if you look at it from one angle, it's one thing. And then if you look at it from another angle, it looks like something different. Um, that texture is what she's talking about. She hates that texture with a passion. Like just me touching that texture bothers her. You're blue and spiky. You're all different, Sonic. Sometimes you're scary and sometimes you're spiky. How cool is that? All right, then let's go. This is going to be fun. Adventure, here we come. Let's try to remember actions as we search the town. See, like, for me, it's cardboard and paper. Like, I don't like the feeling of cardboard and paper in some fabrics. Not too many, but some fabric textures bother me, too. Like, uh, these pajama pants that Noodle got me for relatively cheap. I wore them a handful of times, but, like, they just, they bother me. Like, you never touched a shifty picture? Really? That's kind of surprising, man. They put that texture on all kinds of things sometimes. Like, one of my laptops has a very... Uh, similar. <laughs> I know, Chocobo. I know. <laughs> and the thing is, it never really used to bother me. Um, but after I started working in retail and I had to touch cardboard and paper all the fucking time, that's when it's, like, started to bug me. Like, I just, it, it's, I hate it. I hate it so much. Uh, anyways. Uh, my laptop, for instance, has that same texture. Like, Yeah. Use jumps to reach the goal ring. Windmill Isle Day Stage. Use jumps to make your way to the goal ring. Okay. So wait, are we just... Wait, are we automatically running and we just have to jump? I, this is unexpected. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> we, just, we just started moving automatically. Weird. You hate to feel the trash of eggs, but then again, you know... Every, oh. Oof. They voice the tutorial. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> Normally, I'd say that's a sign of quality, but I do not expect quality from this at all. This story's already all over the fucking place. I have no idea what's going on. Oh my god, loading screen. Bro, we played for three seconds. Why do we need another loading screen? Grand Theft Auto exists at this point, like... You mean they can have that entire world streamed in, but you can't stream in another level? After that three-second shit, Usonic drifts to breeze through the turns. How do you drift? Oh, God. Square. Okay. Oh, my God. It makes a car sound. <laughs> Why does it make a car sound when we drift? Oh, boy. You know, you could have just had us play through a level and throw messages up on the screen saying, hey, this is how you drift or this is how you jump or whatever. We don't need literal tutorial levels, my guy. Yeah, that little thing is annoying as shit, whatever the hell it is. I'm hoping we're not stuck with it the entire time, but we're probably going to be stuck with it the entire time. Optimized. Very. Here we go. I didn't see what the... Okay. I, I didn't see what if the message was. I wasn't lock looking. Cursor on an enemy, you can do a homing attack. Press okay. The X, button to X to home. 
so we can chain them together? Yeah, okay. It takes some doing, but wow, you'll probably need to do action chains. I don't even think that was an entire, like, second of gameplay, dude. <laughs> Maybe two. Maybe two seconds. I'll cut it some slack. <laughs> My god. I'm making random noises right now. <laughs> the mic's probably not picking it up because RTX voice, but... It's mostly sighing breathy noises because what is going on? Why do we have to load between every one of these sections? Okay, we got boost to scatter enemies. Oh, I'm going crooked. Get the rings. Oh my god, dude. It is very sensitive to side to side movement. I wonder if the D-pad works. Uh, yeah. Okay, so when it's full, we can do a sonic boost. D-pad does not work. Why is it so hard to run straight? Oh my god, whatever. <laughs> oh man, I love that. <laughs> we just fucking rammed face first into the wall. That was perfect. That was a good one. I want it to be like classic cartoons though. I wish he would have just turned into flat as a sheet of paper and slowly drifted down to the ground. Worst thing to happen to Sonic since his fan base. Wow, man. Calling some people out there. Is the Sonic fan base that bad? I try not to, I don't know, <laughs> pay attention to what they do. I mean, they brought a Sonic, right? That's a, <laughs> That's a national treasure right there. Slip under obstacles by sliding. Okay. You know, by introducing things to me like this, I'm going to forget all of it. Square to slide. Cool. You know what this actually reminds me of? The licensing test from Gran Turismo games. Short. Very simple. Not necessarily easy in Gran Turismo, but very simple. And a little bit pointless, <laughs> to be honest. Like, sure, it teaches you some more advanced techniques when you get farther into them in Gran Turismo. But, like, come on. Again, you can just design a game to teach you these things as you go. You don't need license tests or tutorial level after tutorial level. Here we Press the L1 and R1 to do a quick step. This camera angle is actual trash. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man, and now we're not running straight. <laughs> Get fucked, my guy. It's all right, though, man. We're getting moon medals. That's all that matters, right? I'm sure these will be useful for something eventually. And it auto saves between every fucking one. That just makes it take that much longer. Continue playing. No, I'm done. I quit. <laughs> Even the developers of the game are like, dude, <laughs> after playing these first six levels, no one's going to want to play the game anymore. We should just offer them a chance to back out now. <laughs> Fuck, man. Is this an actual stage now? I didn't see a tutorial message. Okay, so more rings just means faster in general. I'm assuming these these boost pads would also be helpful. Oh, we going we going fast, boys. Uh drift? <laughs> nope, okay. <laughs> I feel like we just boost constantly. We should we should be fine, right? Oh, 
Will it turn for us? No, not exactly. <laughs> uh... Oh, we missed it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, grab the thing. <laughs> we were doing okay. <laughs> Till that. Oh, shit. Just crawl under it. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I guess. So that's still my that's still my favorite part, man. Oh, we got B rank. Couldn't even get the A rank. We suck. The question is confusing you. You don't like to hug to be hugged or held. Don't buy other people, only you. So I don't know what to put. Uh I I don't know. Um maybe I, I guess yes. I, is probably what I would say if it's only by one single person, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess that's what I would put. Does it like bug you whenever people hug you by? Right? You figured that was all about the hair and those arms and, and look at the chaos emeralds. So, is this what you usually look like? Yeah, this is the real me. Pretty cool, huh? Huh? Where'd you go? Bro, I want an ice cream cone. What are those ice cream cones, Noodle, that we like? The ones that are dipped in chocolate and got the nuts all over them and shit? If you're indifferent, then maybe no. Now, again, it's a self-administered test. I can't really tell you your answers for you, but... What about your memories? Chocolate chip, Sunday, supreme. You said it. Enjoy it, kiddo. Satisfaction guaranteed. If you don't love it, you get your money back. Hey! Oh, I love it. But we don't... Does he have money? Did Sonic pay for it? <laughs> oh, fuck, I don't know what's going on, man. Drumsticks, yes, drumsticks are good. Chip? Gotta call you something, don't I? What do you think? Yeah, Chip, Chip, I love it. Yum. Now, what do you say we start asking around and see if anybody here knows you? Okay. Oh my God, we're about to be. Popped into like a normal walk around type city, aren't we? Suddenly RPG like gameplay. Flower Street, Bell Square, Cafe Terrace, and Windmill Coast Street. Let's just start at the end, I guess. Windmill Coast Street. I need a drink. Ah, who have we here? Greetings, good pilgrims. Okay, it's not quite as bad as I thought. You got 80? You're less autistic than me? I don't think that's true. I think you lied. <laughs> but still likely autistic. Everybody I've had, or no, that has uh, taken the test so far, has fallen under the probably autistic category. You don't think you- I'm just picking on you, love. I'm sure you didn't actually lie. <laughs> ah, who have we here? Greetings, good pilgrims. I just lost the cap to my bottle. That's good. Whatever. Just don't knock it over, please. The great tremor we had the other day has kept us all quite busy. And something's not right. At the shrine on the edge of town. I was thinking of going to check on things there. I do hope to see you gentlemen again. For now, if you'll excuse me. Okay. Uh, Cafe Terrace, then? Except you who got the Yeti, <laughs> you autistic. <laughs> I mean, probably. Again, follow up with a doctor or whatever, but mm, you're probably autistic, my guy. No one's around. Let's head back. Well, then why even give me the option right now, dude? Nate, what's up, my guy? We thought you fell asleep, man. Bell Square. Never seen your mugs around here before. Are you travelers? Huh? Do I know this little fellow? Nah, I can't say I do. Don't think we've met before. Me neither. Oh, you did go to the doctor, didn't you? What did they tell you? I don't remember. 
<laughs> Bro, my, you gotta remember, my, this is kind of sarcat, not sarcastic. What? Words. I forget words sometimes too. I was gonna say, you gotta remember, my memory's not great, but like, I can't. Not sarcastic. Um, bruh. You gotta remember my memory's not great. That is... That's a word, and I can't remember the word, and that's bothering me. That Rue is definitely autistic. Well, you know. <laughs> I mean, bruh, I forgot. It matters to me so little. <laughs> that somebody's autistic or not. Like... I don't know, maybe it's because I'm probably autistic, but when somebody's like, oh, I'm autistic, I'm just like, okay, whatever, you're just a person. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, I forgot. It didn't stick in my brain. <laughs> maybe that's why I think everyone else is autistic, because I'm fucking autistic. I don't... <laughs> oh. Rue or clothes? Yeah, you're a Rue or clothes. Uh, did I mention I'm tired today? Because I'm tired today. You can hear now? Well, we said hi. Hi, Nate. <laughs> we thought you fell asleep is what I said. But And we were talking a lot about us all being autistic. Uh, anyways. Say, did you feel the tremor? Good thing my house is okay. Since the earthquake, the whole town is turned upside down. Hmm, do I know anything about you? Only that I've never seen you before. Sorry, all I know is that I don't know you. I can't help you, but I bet the priest can. He knows everything. Though he has been preoccupied lately, something's on his mind. Maybe you can help him out, too. So we talked to the dude we needed to talk to right away. Oh, nope. Never mind. We got to go back to Windmill Co. Street. Hello, good pilgrims. What brings you here? Do I know this? We literally already... Fuck! <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is the same exact message we got the last time we were here. <laughs> what is the shrine? Is it a sacred place famous among... Travelers. Oh wait, never mind. Okay, I think it is a little bit different. Since the Great Tremor, tremor all manners of strange incidents have occurred. It just happened to be like the same intro. I never mind. I jumped the gun there. We have fewer tourists, and I feel our town may come to ruin. You have come all this way. May I direct you to our holy shrine? Sure. Which way? The shrine is on the edge of town. You cannot go deep inside, but enjoy. Sierra got seventy-seven. Probably autistic. Noodles 80, probably autistic. Uh, yeah. Nate's that guy that I didn't want to say the name of, because, you know, I didn't think he had any problem sharing his score, but I wasn't going to be the one to do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nate scored higher than you and our other autistic friend that we have that took the test. Um, scored higher than him, too. <laughs> There's something I forgot to tell you. I came across this when I was walking, so I picked it up. Looks like some kind of metal with a symbol of a blazing sun on it. I really like it myself, but it might be of use. So I want you to have it. We're going to use it right away, aren't we? We're going to need it to like unlock the shrine or something. First continent sun tablet? Do you have OptiJack take it or doors? No, I haven't. I should, though. We were talking about it with Doris, though, but I didn't, like, send him a link to the test or anything telling him to take it. Although we were trying to get his sister-in-law to take it. I'm glad there's a bunch of loading screens in this game, man. That's my favorite part of any game. This place is watching kind of something slowly us, load. Sonic. If it was just me, I'd be too scared to go in. Still no camera control. Looks like this door won't open yet. 43 total sun medals and 45 total moon medals. Come on, Sonic, let's go find more. Okay, so this is like our hub world then? It really annoys me that we can't control the camera. Okay, I'm assuming we can't open any of these doors yet. Maybe the sun one? Or the moon one? Because we have seven. Oh, never mind. I guess the sun one. Maybe because we have the sun tablet. This door's not opening, huh? 
Okay. So that one. Ow. <laughs> when we're just walking around an area like this, dude, you don't need to have Sonic try to go fast. <laughs> I know going fast is kind of Sonic's thing, but it's a lot easier to control when you just walk normal inside small spaces. Ah. <sighs> Both the doors to sister-in-laws are most likely taking it good, and we need larger sample sizes. So far, everyone that's taken it is likely autistic. As soon as she comes back, feel like you're going to make Lily Attack take it too? Probably. Probably. I see her at the store every once in a while, and <laughs> if I remember, I'll uh, <laughs> send it to her, show it to her or something, tell her to take it. Uh... Do so, like, is this trying to be a racing game? Like, you got the timer. You get medals depending on how fast or how slow you do it. Do you jump higher if you hold the X button? No, it doesn't look like it. You definitely move slower when you jump, though. Oh, you get drift bonuses? This is definitely trying to be a racing game, my guy. Get wrecked. <laughs> Is that good? I don't know if that's good. This 2D shift is a little bit weird. Oh god. Yeah, I did not see that coming. The square. Oh god. Okay, not square. <laughs> If you like, oh, X circle, what? What was that about? The tutorial never told me about quick time events. Oh man, this <laughs> it's fucking it's impossible to run straight. I think I would have preferred if this was just an auto runner and I just had to dodge side to side or something. Oh, did I have to like shift through? Oh, shit, there's a wall there. I <laughs> just messaged her and say, you made, made me think of her. <laughs> that sounds a little bit mean, but okay, I'm game. So when there's a bunch of rings and we hit circle, it seems like we kind of snap to the rings, which is handy. We got an item. What would that? What's what's that do? Gotta go fast, faster. <laughs> Chocobo did take it. I think everybody that's here right now has taken it. At least everybody that's been chatting that's here. I'll give the game credit in that it does feel faster than I expected, right? Oh, boss fight? Okay, is this part auto running? It is. Is that, is this all we have to do? Just back and forth? Oh, shit. Uh, okay, now we're chasing. D did he say how to attack? Did I miss it? Anyways, yeah, no, have a good night, my guy. Get some, some rest, you deserve it. Is that the attack? Like, just power charging at it? Okay. I'm, I think we killed it. Are the levels still going, though? 
long level. Some of you both tacos he said he wanted some. Ah, B rank again. I wonder if there's hidden stuff behind the stage clear coins. Because apparently there's items we can pick up. So if we just like dodged it and I don't know, maybe in one of those arches or something. Psycho, what's up, my guy? Welcome. So I can't help but notice we keep getting one moon medal. So I'm assuming like S rank is all three, A is two, and then B is one. Are we gonna have to like replay to get more <laughs> to get more moon medals at some point? Oh. Oh, Bo's looking like something. Uh <laughs> that is an interesting look, dude. You got a new car. That's awesome, dude. What kind of car, if you don't mind me asking? Secret document 20. Check it out later. We shall. We shall indeed. I got a uh, new car a few months ago. New to me, right? I bought it used, but new to me. And uh, I'm liking it. It uh, It's not without its problems, but it's nice. I enjoy it. Ugly, slow, deep compass. <laughs> that's, that's just like, like that's, those are some real words of endearment there, my guy. <laughs> just, <laughs> uh, it's ugly and it's slow. That's what kind of car I got. Bruh. Nate, you're just not allowed to breed bow anymore, my guy. <laughs> like, what is, <laughs> oh, it's just facts of life. Fair, fair enough, man. Collect 100 rings. That's all we got to do. So just like a race to collect 100 rings then? Oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> you only have one minute? Oh, to, to collect the 100 rings. Yeah, I see that. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't feel like we're gonna fail, dude. <laughs> this has been so slow. Okay, there we go. Now we're making some progress. Uh, we're making some progress. Oh shit, I forgot about the quick time event. Uh, why are we going backwards? Uh, um, <laughs> whew, seven hundredths of a second. That's all we had left, man. That was close. <laughs> Without neither of his parents had any of those traits. Well, <laughs> Bo certainly has those traits now. He looks fabulous. Obtained a tablet fragment adorned with a red jewel. New mission has been added. Head to the sun door at the Gaia gate. Okay. Poor Bo. Bo's been through some tough times, man. At least he got some tacos, so it'll be all better now. Still no luck finding anyone who knows me. Don't worry about it. Maybe your memory will come back on its own. Remember anything yet? Mm, nope. Oh well. <laughs> We're about to go dark again, aren't we? Yep. So when the sun's up, we're normal. And when the sun's down, we go into wear Sonic mode. Is wear Sonic gonna be like more beat 'em up style gameplay Mr. instead of gotta go down. fast? So when the sun goes down, I turn into this. Are you okay, Sonic? I'm fine. How am I? I'm tired, but other than that, I'm great, man. Like Can't this. tell you how glad I am to be here. 
Well, thank you, dude. That's <laughs> Honestly, that's awesome. As I've said before, I just love having you guys here to hang out while we play games. Like, that's honestly amazing to me. That people actually choose to <laughs> spend their time coming here and just BSing with me. So I appreciate that. But no, I'm good. I'm good. What good is ice cream at a time Dev like sat down and said, what if we didn't have to pay for Knuckles VA? <laughs> 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 oh. I, they definitely, well, I can't say this for sure, but it doesn't seem like they paid this guy much to, <laughs> to voice act. Whoever this uh, little flying dude is, I don't even know what to call him. He's like a fairy fox? Kind of? Not really fairy fox mouse thing. I still think it's like the soul of the planet turned into an animal. Hey, get this. The ice cream man has been acting really weird. Whoa, speaking of weird, what the heck happened to you? How do you even recognize me, kid? What did you do to yourself? Oh, you know, I just figured I'd cover myself in fur and dye my hair. That's all. As you do. Hey, Pilgrim. What's the matter? You alright? You look shorter and stouter than before. Did you eat something funny? How many times have you eaten something a little off and turned into a completely different being? Come on, my guy. Cafe Terrace? Hmm, no one's around. Let's head back. Nobody's ever at the Cafe Terrace, are they? That sounds like a business to me, and how are they even open at this point? It's obviously a front for something. Hmm, I don't believe we've met. What are you doing out this late? We met this afternoon. I think I'd remember Blue Hedgehog. Someone who looked like me directed you to the Holy Shrine? I was just talking about how many unusual guests we get. Eric said he even gave directions today to a yellow fox. But that yellow yellow fox, is that Tails? We talking about Tails? It's the Roy Taters. <laughs> you know what goes really good with potatoes? Steroids. <laughs> Fuck, dude. One of these days, just because I over the garden the wall over the garden wall, I have to try molasses on potatoes. I can't imagine it being good, like just mashed potatoes and molasses, but I have to try it. Like I just, I literally don't have a choice at this point. Streamlabs loves making it a cat, dude. After a, a pod it is, tremor, <laughs> tourism's declined and nights are dangerous. Reports of ghosts have not been verified, but you be careful, son. Will do. Oh, now we can go to the Cafe Terrace? Hmm, you fellas, you two make a big impression. I'd know you anywhere. What do I mean? Well, I had some stranger ask me a favor. And since he was a yellow fox, I figured you knew each other. What? <laughs> How do I look like I know a yellow fox? Just because I'm furry, you think I know every fox in the world? Bruh, that is speciest. Yeah. He told me if I saw a blue hedgehog, I ought to give him this. I look nothing like a hedgehog right now, my guy. Are you sure you weren't here, like, before the sun went down? <laughs> Did the devs put you in the wrong time of day? His description was a bit different, but you gotta be the one he meant. <laughs> First Continent's Moon Tablet. So that should be the other door now, right? Curious how different it's gonna be playing Wear Sonic. So my my guess is it's gonna be like beat 'em up style, but that's all it is is a guess. Obviously, I have no idea. Uh, there we go. Forgot to put in my dollar for the day. Oh, so inside the shrine, we turn back into normal Sonic, even at night? I can't move or anything, by the way. Okay, here we go. Huh? Hey, you're back to nice guy Sonic again. 
this light so warm. It kind of feels like the afternoon sun. Do you think your transforming's got something to do with the sun, Sonic? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder if it's got anything to do with the sun. So when are you purchasing Dark Cloud 2? Very soon. I've just been trying. Like, I have the money for it. That's not the issue. I've been trying to find it at under average cost because I always try to buy my games at average, under average cost if I can. Um, in the last two or three times that it's popped up on my uh, watch list that I have set up for it, uh, by the time I clicked on the link, which was only like 10 minutes or something, it was already sold. So there may be a little bit of a delay from when it's posted to when my watch list notifies me. But it can't be that big of one. So I guess it's just a hot commodity right now, <laughs> Dark Cloud 2. Um, but I'm, I've gotten to the point now where I, I think I'm just going to give up on buying it under cost and just pay whatever I have to pay for it. Um, or, yeah, like Noodle was hinting at there, checking one of the local game stores or something to see if maybe they have a copy of it. Because, uh, yeah, I want to I wanna get started on Drakengard. Not to mention I want to try Dark Cloud 2 as well. I'm just curious how different it's going to be than uh, Dark Cloud 1. SonicFan291, thank you so much for the follow, my guy. Hey, you're looking all scary again. Don't you get tired of switching all the time? I mean, <laughs> I don't really have a say in the matter, dude. I just kind of am forced into it, you know? <laughs> sun comes up, I turn normal. Sun goes down, I turn into this beast thing. I come into a shrine, I turn normal, I walk into a door inside the shrine and <laughs> turn back into the beast, like, huh. They did the re-release of Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2, they need to re-release Need for Speed Underground 2, yes, that would be awesome. One or two, two preferably, but I'd be dope for both, or dope for both, <laughs> I'd be happy for either or. Get the hang of jumping in Werehog form. Oh, Okay. If you press no. the X button to jump, then press the X button again in the air, you'll do a double jump. Good to know. But yeah, so we're definitely slower, which I mean, I, I expected as much. Move the left analog stick rapidly in the same direction twice to do a dash. Oh? Okay. Why isn't that a thing, like, with normal Sonic? Like, try in slow run and then super run or something. Than a jump will take you. Try jumping mid- okay. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. We're moving faster, so... See? I appreciate that tutorial taught us a couple different things. <laughs> Whereas the first tutorial for the game, or first, like, eight tutorials for the game, were all mini levels of their own. That was much better. Also, we have stats. <laughs> Suddenly an RPG game. Okay. Remember playing Sonic Unleashed on your cousin's Xbox 360? This is my first time ever trying it. And uh, I'm a little worried about it, to put it lightly. <laughs> okay, so there's unlockables of some sort. We have health, unleashed stat whatever that means attack Warehammer I'm assuming is an attack that we have an attack or an, an ability or whatever normal Sonic can't just turn into a ball and roll fast as shit everywhere he runs mostly um, in this game it seems like but like honestly that's one thing I was just, I'll say so far it seems like they did relatively well was it does feel faster than I was expecting it to when you're playing as normal Sonic Unleashed is the best stat category name ever. I have no idea what it means. I have no idea at all. That name does nothing for me as far as uh, informationally, you know? Like, it tells me nothing. Brave an obstacle course as you learn your moves. Okay. So these ones are still timed. If a ledge looks climbable, try stretching out your arms and grabbing it. Okay. How? R1, gotcha. Oh, okay, we have to hold R1. You should be able to 
reach that horizontal pole if you grab for it, Sonic. Sonic goes pole dancing. Nice. You can climb up and down poles like this one. It's the Sonic that has a lot of memes and not in a good way. I've seen a lot of memes on a lot of different Sonic games. 3D Sonic games in general tend to be memed a lot, it seems like. And it's just because, like, a lot of them seem like they're good in concept, but then the execution was a little iffy about it, you know? Like, just glitchy, some, some small oversights and, like, different levels and things. Stuff like that. Like, not strength, not attack power, not agility or strength, not special. No, we got fucking unleashed. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's a special stat or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Time will tell. Climb up and down poles like this one. Okay. I'm assuming with R1. Yeah, okay. Can we go around the pole? We can. Really like the daytime stages? Yeah, my only complaint with the daytime stages so far um, was that I don't know if it's a problem with my controller or the game, but it was awfully hard to just run straight. Like, Sonic kept wanting to veer to the right or to the left a little bit. And maybe it's just, you know, this old PS2 controller I'm using. Skill training. Wear hammer. This emergency evasion tactic will push back any foe it connects with. Okay. Didn't... I thought... I don't, I don't know. I don't know why that appeared all of a sudden. You just lost the game? Wait, what game? It's beat em up time. Master those combos. Called it. Alternate the square button and the circle button press it. That's a lot of bad guys, Sonic. You're gonna have to take them down. It's right punch, left punch. Okay. Press the circle and square button in turns or either the circle or the square button multiple times in a row to yield a three hit combo. Using triple attacks to feed all enemies in the area. So just, just mash buttons. Gotcha. Is there any benefit to, to alternating back and forth instead of just pressing the same one over and over again? Because it seems to do the same combo, right? Yeah, looks like it at least. Maybe it was just an accessibility thing. Like, originally, they wanted you to control each limb independently, but then they were like, well, for some people, maybe that'll be a little too fucked, or... I don't know. Total force, 240 points? Oh, okay. I see. I thought there was only, like, two different options for for things here no it just keeps going for a long time and the reason it popped up last time is because i just happened to make it to the bottom okay it's okay the official announcement was made everyone has won the game and been released from its curse what <laughs> what what are... i'm very confused nate what are you talking about <laughs> I'm assuming that's a reply to Psycho's I just lost the game. But I don't know what he was talking about either. I'm so confused. Oh, uh, are you talking about the game? Like, the game from when I was, like, in high school, and if you think about the game, you lost the game? Because, thanks, now I lost the game. <laughs> you can grab that cradle yes, the game, Sonic. yes, that one. <laughs> thanks. For beating up everything in his sight. I mean, he is where Sonic, man. Dude's it. made to smash. Context. Can we grab people? Oh. <laughs> Take that, dude. I, I want... I want Wear Sonic to be in the next WWE game, man. 
I want to pick up like tables, ladders, and chairs with Wear Sonic and just beat people with them. Are there more people somewhere I'm meant to be smashing? Oh wait, oh there's a, there's the gold ring over here, okay. It's ended and we all won our free, well except for Psycho. Psycho lost before the announcement. <laughs> Okay, 480 points. How much is the cheapest one? 520. So almost there. Almost there. Wonder what the next uh, ability that we get is going to be like. The announcement was like two years ago. By what authority? You know, who had the authority to make that call that the game was over? I don't think the game ever ends. Master the special attack. If you press the triangle button, you'll do a super duper special move. I dislike you, fairy. I just don't know what creature you're meant to be. <laughs> Weird furry fairy dude. Ooh. So an up cut, up, up cut, uh, uppercut followed by like a ground smash. Did that that dude's not even dead. <laughs> How did we win? Why do you dislike Chip? I don't know what it is about him. Uh, some, I, I guess it's just like his personality. Maybe it's his voice actor that I'm not really connecting with. There's just something about him that rubs me the wrong way, man. <laughs> like, I can't really put my finger on it. Maybe it's just like too... I don't want to say too childlike because like... I get along with children in real life just fine, but I don't know, man. I said it's hard to put my finger on it, but something about his character is not doing it for me. And showing up mysteriously with no memory after the half the world is destroyed seems awfully suspicious, my guy. <laughs> Pretty sure there's more to Chip than he's letting on. <laughs> Is there any reason not to just constantly use special moves? Uh, it feels slow. That's probably the reason not to do it all the time. Climb the pole. Thank you. Can we, like, dash up the pole? No. Oh, I see a door. We've got to open it up if we want to get past. Okay. I was half expecting that to be like God of War where we had to mash the R1 button to open it, but... These guys are kind of tanky, aren't they, man? I expect them to go down more easily than the uh, the bigger dudes we've been fighting, but... Ooh. What is that? Was that a health refill, maybe? I'm assuming just because it was red. I'm assuming it was a health refill. Okay. Weird dark rings to open the door. Oh, can we bounce on that? On the on the parasail? Oh, it's not bouncy, bruh. Crash. Very disappointing. Sonic Unleashed is on PS2 is the worst version. What's the uh, like the version differences between the different ones? 
Like, what makes it the worst version? I know, like, generally speaking, uh, the GameCube and the Xbox look slightly better. Um, but the GameCube usually had compressed audio and video to make up for its lack of disk space. And the Xbox tended to just be, you know, <laughs> the best of the three back then. Helps that it came out a fair bit later than the other consoles. But I know nothing about Sonic Unleashed to say which one's, like, better or worse or anything like that. So, it seems like we don't have a time limit in this one, but we are being timed. So maybe some sort of bonus the faster we complete it? That would make sense, right? Are you, like, weaker to my special attack? Have I played Sonic Colors? No. Basically, every Sonic game ever made is on my list of games I want to play. But I've only played the first three, you know, back on the Sega Genesis. Uh, Sonic Mania, which was fun. Um, Sonic Heroes was the only one I played as, like, a child. Um, or, like, in, in my childhood of the 3D Sonic games. And now Sonic Unleashed. Is there like a hint? Can we wall jump? No. Is there a hint on where this thing is? Maybe that's the uh, the weird Ed, Ed red arrow thing there. Can we jump or not jump? Open this? Yeah. Whatever you do, do not play on Sonic 06. It sucks. You can't even move in the air when you're jumping. Nice, dude. Honestly, I feel like Sonic deserved better than what he got in a lot of circumstances. Because, again, like, the, the idea for the games, I think, is pretty solid. Um, it's just the execution is not always up to the same standard. And it gets a little weird sometimes. Like, you know, Sonic kissing a normal-looking human girl. That's a little bit weird, but whatever. It's a video game. <laughs> it gets a pass. <laughs> Bruh, his stretchy arms are great for clearing out groups of people, huh? I just don't understand why these little... Are they ghosts? Is that what they're meant to be? They're so damn tanky, though. I'll take that, thank you. Can you smash the pots? We can, for presumably extra health. Oh, God. Jumping the wrong direction. We're fine. We made it. Stage clear. Let's go. Oh, wait. We actually did decent? <laughs> Hey, two sun medals. Let's go. So that should be enough to... Oh. Okay. That's not how many points it costs to unlock. That's how many more points we need for it to just, like, automatically unlock. The wear claw. Pierce any defense with this technique. Hit foes just right and you can dizzy them. Press uh, circle or square while dashing. Okay. Oh, nice. It's even got, like, a, a little bar filling up over there. I like it. Okay, Secret Illustration 59. Check it out later. I'm assuming we have to check that stuff out from, like, the main menu or something. Next one you should play is Sonic Colors. Do I have Sonic Colors? Uh, let me check my list real quick. Sonic Colors. Continue playing? Yes. Okay, Steam. 
Did it come out for PC? Because I definitely don't own it on console. Hmm. Sadly, no, it doesn't look like I have that one yet. I'm most likely going to pick it up at some point, but <laughs> I wouldn't hold my breath, though. There's no knob on this door. Let's look around and see if there's some kind of switch. There was no knob on the last three doors that we opened, my guy. Can we not just lift it open? I don't know how useful that stun attack is in, like, close combat situations. So the dash mechanic is a little bit, uh... Cumbersome? I don't know if maybe they'll be put to use later, but, like, right now the R2, L2 buttons do literally nothing. So I think it would have been better if you just, like, pressed one of those buttons to activate the, the dash or something. Or instead of having the, the two-handed combat, you know, they could have just had one button for attack and then use the other Sonic, one for dash. I think if you dash so I think here, if you dash here, you'll be able to jump this distance. Yes, I remember the tutorial. My headphones just died. I need to... You're right there, Chip. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> It's, he's not the worst character I've ever seen in a video game or anything like that, but he does rub me a little a little wrong, man. <laughs> right, I'm going to plug in my headphones real quick. Uh, pause so the timer stops going up. Games are better with sound. <laughs> Should be good now, hopefully. Anything hidden back here? Oh, okay. So wait, the the Gaia Life Force or whatever it's called, the thing that lets us unlock new abilities, when it fills up, it fills up with red. So I'm thinking those those red orbs that we're unlocking, that's not health. Like I first assumed, but more points, maybe, for us to unlock more abilities? Then the, the, excuse me, the blue orbs are probably filling up, oh shoot, I need to dash there, the, uh, the light blue bar underneath our green bar? Which I can only assume is for our uh, special attacks. What do you think that is, Sonic? Try grabbing it. Oh, fancy. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> It was pretty clear we had to press our one button there again. We had to do it the time before that. And, you know, it popped up real big on the screen telling us to press our one. <laughs> but, okay. Try that again. I guess we didn't really need to. We were able to get up here anyways. Well, yeah, I figured as much, dude. The stretchy arms are weird. I wonder what made them think that was the right move. Like, the whole werehog thing or whatever, that's fine. But how many werewolves are there out there that have stretchy arms? Is that a common trope that I've somehow missed all of these years? If I do get Sonic Colors, am I going to stream it? I'd be willing to. I don't know when exactly, because uh, I mainly stream PlayStation 2 stuff, and then uh, I do some strategy games on Fridays, like strategy and simulation stuff. But I do stream other stuff every once in a while, so I'm not against it, 
at all. But I have no idea when I have the time to, you know what I mean? Okay, so is that light blue bar our special attacks? No, that doesn't seem to be going down at all. Hmm. So what is the light blue? Is that our health? Can you hit us or hit me? No, that's the big green bar. I have no idea what the hell that is then. Can I... Oh, can we like do a dashing double jump? The camera here does not exactly make that easy. I think it's possible. There's probably an easier way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there is. <laughs> Just go this way. And jump. Let's go. I will take that red canister or orb canister, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I see a lever. Let's see what it You do not remember all these Werehog sages? Maybe there's like less as time goes on or something? I don't know. This is still super early in the game. We had a handful of tutorial stages that weren't great because they were extremely short. The loading screen was longer <laughs> between each one <laughs> than uh, the actual level was. And then we had one or two daytime stages. And then uh, it's been this ever since. The one or two day daytime stages were definitely the best part of the game so far, though. So other than the, the controls being a little iffy on the whole being able to run straight thing they were actually quite enjoyable this isn't what I would call unenjoyable it just doesn't feel like Sonic either you know like when I when I pick up a Sonic game I, I don't really think of, of classic beat em up gameplay you now if I want to beat em up I'll grab God of War or something when I want to run fast and platform that's when I, I think Sonic. Can you die? There's one down. There we go. Thank you. Those little hornet dudes are kind of hard to hit, man. Uh, it seems like it wants us to go to the right, but I'm curious on what's over here. Oh, we can shimmy across. I thought we'd have to grab it. More red orbs? No, an item. So I was thinking these items were going to be like usable stuff or something, but I'm guessing these are like the secret documents and artwork and whatnot that we're getting, actually. That makes a little more sense to me now that I... Put a moment of thought into it. We should take this one nice and slow. Don't want to slip and fall. Oh God! Oh God! Uh, <laughs> why, why did I fall that time? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even realize I did anything different. Did I like, maybe I pressed the X button or something. Okay. All right, we're good. We're fine. We got it. <laughs> well, I'll be like, ah! <laughs> oh. Doesn't hold a candle to the uh, death sound in Metal Gear Solid, man. <laughs> Wait, why did we only get the middle? That's just a weird inconsistency. Like, we got B rank, so we got one medal. That makes sense. But in the uh, the sun levels that we had played up to this point, it started at the left, and then, like, you got the left moon, then presumably the middle, and then the right. 
So it's weird it gave us the middle one this time for, for a B rank. Dark Guy's power gathers around Sonic. Sonic can now chain together more attacks. So our combo got longer? Yeah, combo level up. Okay. Secret Illustration 66. New mission has been added. Head to the moon door at the word I don't know how to pronounce gate. A potus? A potos? <laughs> I'm assuming a potus or a potos. It's got to be one of them. For some reason saying that makes me think hippopotamus. <laughs> Windmill Owl Night Stage, Hill Beneath Starry Skies. Uh, Dash? This is oddly empty? Okay. <laughs> so, like, I just kept expecting enemies to pop up and it just wasn't happening. Not appreciate that sucker punch to the back of the head, my guy. Can we break what? Oh, okay, there's another seal we gotta break. Can we break this wall? Think you could break this wall with a punch, Sonic? Guess I should have just waited. Okay. <laughs> Presumably, yes. Then. <laughs> That's the sort of thing I think you could have just let us figure out for ourselves, game. That would have been okay. Uh, invisible wall. I'll just go around. This is oddly ex uh, oddly empty. Next thing you know, they all show up. Yes. Are there any seals like hidden back here? Some more of the orbs. Probably more crap on the left side too, but not exactly going for completionist right now. Oh, I thought this was the seal. No, that's just one of the pieces. That was cool. That was like a rapid attack there. Is that one more? Yeah, okay. So we have different combos in the air and on the ground. I can dig that. Seems like uh, one of our attacks has a, a stun built into it, which is nice. We don't even have to worry about that whole dash attack thing to stun people. Is there not a seal piece in here? Mm, no, I guess not. I mean, there's one right there, it looks like. Oh, wait, door, 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 door. Sonic just going around destroying ancient... Monuments. Yeah, they are relatively long, aren't they, compared to the uh, daytime stages. So, I mean, I guess it makes some degree of sense, right? Because if you think about it, like, back on the, the PlayStation 2, Xbox, GameCube, whatever, they had very limited amounts of uh, memory to store stages in. Now, they could have made it work, I feel like, with um, some some streaming tech. You know, things similar to, like, what Grand Theft Auto was using to load entire worlds in without loading screens. But because you're moving so quickly through them, the daytime levels are probably about the same length, I'm guessing, <clears throat> in terms of distance traveled or, or area covered. But you make it through them five times more quickly, so... They feel a lot smaller. 
With that said, though, the, the daytime levels we've played so far have been a lot less detailed than the Werehog stages. Which in its own right also makes sense, because if you're moving through it super quickly, then you don't need to add as much detail to, to still get a, an immersive feel to the stage. I think the game would have done well to either have less Werehog stuff, though, or just get rid of it. <laughs> or have it be, like, spun off into its own game. Because, again, I'm repeating myself here, but this just does not feel Sonic. This should have been, like, Knuckles game or something. Can we break the guard? Does the special attack break guard? Yeah, we Ooh, you're a big one. I don't know why half my attacks just missed you. Oh, bro, can we get like an actual boss fight? That'd be cool. <laughs> what was going on with Sonic's model there for a second, man? It was <laughs> having a seizure or something. Give us an A rank this time. Yes, let's go. Two sons. Ooh, we're close to another power up. Wonder how we make our uh, health and stuff go up, because none of that has gone up yet. Any of our actual levels, we've just unlocked new abilities. Wow, you rule. <laughs> yes, you do. You all rule. Ooh, is this our boss fight? You can literally fly, yeah, just... <laughs> Why stop there? Just keep flying, Tails. Noodle, thanks so much for the five bits, love. Appreciate you. What? We didn't get to do the fight? Do we at least get to fight the big dude? What are you doing out here? Sonic, is that really you? That's a new look. What happened? You know me. Never a dull moment. Want some chocolate? Uh, thanks. Fuck, Chip. <laughs> this is so random, dude. That's some story. I'll bet that means that you turning into that and the planet breaking apart are somehow related. I need to find Eggman and make him fix this. <laughs> and fast. About that. I think I know someone who might know something about what's going on here. Oh, really? Professor Pickle over at Spagonia University. I came to this city to gather some data. If we add that to his research findings, we might be able to get to the bottom of all this. I wonder what the fuck those random sounds were. <laughs> it's Chip in the background, man. Just floating around, making random noises. Yeah, bro really was crying for help. Just can just fly away. Bruh. I can't believe the game didn't let us fight the boss. That would have been cool. That was a cool looking dude. Let me fight him, man. That's disappointing. Oh, do we get a bigger world map now? Ooh. 
So there was like the smaller town map and now we got this. Okay, is there gonna be another shrine in Spagonia, I wonder? Uh, we're gonna check it out real quick at least. You think a daytime stage is coming? It's about time for me to get off. Technically, it is time for me to get off, but I'm curious about Spagonia, so I'm going to check it out at least real quick. Okay, so it's another town. Uh, we'll go in order. Main Street. It certainly looks like daytime here. Looking for some lavatory? Gee, I haven't got a clue. Does my sister know, you ask? She's my friend's sister, not mine. <laughs> Why? I don't even know what a labo tree is. <laughs> Very helpful, children. Thank you. It reminds me of the time, one of the random memories I have as a, a kid. I was walking around um, Main Street of the town I, I lived in when I was little, little. And uh, some car like pulled over and asked me for directions to a bakery. But for some reason, it did not click in my head what they were looking for. So I gave them completely wrong directions. Like, completely wrong. When in rea reality, they were like less than a block away from the place they were looking for. <laughs> Once it clicked in my mind, I felt so bad because I just sent these people on a wild goose chase. But at the time, I just like... I... I... I don't know, man. It just did not click in my head. That, oh yeah, that bakery, the one that I go to all the freaking time, that's the place they're looking for. It's like, I don't know, eight buildings down over that way, <laughs> like on Main Street, so close to it. I'm just an idiot, but whatever. Busy, busy, busy. Sorry I can't help you. I'm right in the middle of things. Uh, where's the laboratory? Laboratory? Oh, the lab. Are you looking for the professor? He's vanished into thin air. I'm having a hard time finding him myself. I should explain. First, I'll direct you to the lab. Please go on ahead. Hold on, Baker Street. Do I know a Professor Pickle? I did hear stories of a famous professor living in the area, but that's all I know. Thanks, Denise. Very helpful. All right, Pickle Lab. Urza Musliu? I'm sorry if I butchered that name, but thank you for the follow, man. This is the place, Sonic. Professor Pickle's laboratory. That assistant guy said he'd vanished. Let's go in and see if he's here. Hi, hello. What? Professor Pickle's been kidnapped? It was a little bit before the tremors hit. This old man showed up with a... and a... and a whole pack of robots. They carried poor Eggman. Professor Pickle off. <laughs> Definitely Eggman. I'm good. About to get off for the night. Joined that at a sure bit of an awkward like time, Eggman. but <laughs> how are what you tonight, though, man? To We've got to go help that professor guy out, and fast. If he got kidnapped that long ago, he's got to be real hungry hey, that's by good. now. And, and if I was that hungry, uh, I don't know how long I would last. I'd rather be dead. You see what I mean about Chip, though? Like... <laughs> I'm, just, I'm very iffy on Chip. It's just like... <laughs> you playing Sonic? I'm trying it out, yeah. Part of my PlayStation 2 gauntlet thing I'm doing, I'm trying out, collecting and trying out every PlayStation 2 game that was released in North America. And uh, I randomly roll for, for the ones that I own that I should try based off of votes that people give me. And uh, this is the one that won tonight, so... PlayStation 2 emulator? Nope. Everything's played on real hardware. Why would Eggman kidnap the professor? What's he up to now? That's it. Somehow the professor's research threatens Eggman. And if it does, then his notes will probably give us a clue. Let's see. Here we are. A mysterious hole in Mazurai. Ma Mazurai? Act now and think on it later. Time to head to Ma Mazurai, Sonic. You love DDR? I've only played DDR like two or three times in my life, to be honest. It's fun, but like, how are you streaming on a PlayStation 2? A capture card. I have a, uh, I forget the exact name of it, but it's made by Razer. And I use a uh, RetroTank 5X to upscale and convert the output from the PlayStation 2 to HDMI. And it's upscaled to 1200p. And then that goes into my capture card. And then uh, from there, it, yeah. <laughs> 
goes to OBS. OBS grabs that footage and streams it out to all you guys. Uh, it also has a pass through, so I have that hooked up to my monitor. So if I need to, I can get, you know, very low latency output from it there. But I generally just play through the OBS preview window, which uh, does add a couple frames of lag, but it's, it's fine in most games. Another new place can be opened. Okay. Or can be explored. I'm still curious, so we're going to go to another one. What kind of DDR games you like on PS2? I don't own any of them, so I couldn't even tell you, like, which one I, I've i played or enjoyed. Uh, when I was in middle school, I think it was middle school, sometimes they would have a DDR in gym class, which, I mean, as far as gym class goes, that was kind of neat, you know, right up there with playing dodgeball and stuff. And then one of my cousins had one or two of the DDR games growing up. But uh, they only had one pad, so <laughs> one person would be stuck playing on controller while the other person was playing on the pad. And it was a fun time. Like I said, I enjoyed it, but I haven't played them that much. I have a really crappy knockoff DDR game <laughs> that's uh, High School Musical themed. It's not that good. <laughs> it's, it's okay, <laughs> that best. Mario? Oh yeah, no, I definitely love Mario. The Holy Tree. Looks like nobody's here. Let's go back, Sonic. I, uh, never seriously, but I, I speed ran Mario 3 for a short period of time. Just for funsies. So I never took it seriously. My, my best time was... What? It was using the warp whistles. I think it was around 18 minutes or something like that. Um... I can't remember off the top of my head. It wasn't too bad of a time, but it wasn't, like, one of the best times in the world or anything like that. You, like, sing star. I can't sing, so. <laughs> if it was just, like, me hanging out with some friends or something like that, sure, I'll be stupid and sing terribly. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> now, Guitar Hero, though, that was my jam. Not that I can really play guitar well in real life or anything, but a plastic guitar? I was pretty decent at that back in the day. They're not here either, Sonic. What's the deal? I feel like they're going to be in the tree, but let's check out... Or no, that's the shop. Well, let's go to the shop then, and then we'll check out the uh, the hunter's home. Racing games are... It depends. If it's like uh, arcade racing games, they're pretty fun. Um, and then I like Gran Turismo, but there's not... Like, I like a lot of the Need for Speed games, right? And then I like Gran Turismo. That's pretty much it for racing games I actually really enjoy. Could do the job for a cowboy song, but that's it. <laughs> Break out that country twang. The middle of night and not a soul in sight. Kind of lonely, huh, Sonic? I mean, why would the shop be open in the middle of the night? That actually kind of makes sense. I played Sonic Colors on Wii, but I don't think Sonic is good on the Wii because the control... Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that, huh? Does it have, like, a uh, pro controller option or anything on the Wii? No one's around. It's really quiet. Hey, Sonic, isn't that the whole Tails was talking about? Mysterious hole. Let's go explore that mysterious hole. Hey, Professor, I'm assuming, at least. Professor Pickle, are you all right? We got here as fast as we could. Um, hello? Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that as a racing game, but yes, yeah, Mario Kart games are fun. And uh, Team Sonic Racing, pretty fun as well. Crash Team Racing, not bad. This dude's a little odd. Professor, it's good to see you haven't changed. But tell me, what brings you here? The menu is hardly worth the trip, if you ask me. No, Professor, we came here to rescue you. Oh, oh, I see. How rude of me. Right then, first things first. It's about time someone taught the chef here how to make a proper sandwich. Oh, thank you, man. Have a good night or day, <laughs> whatever it is for you. Shows up. Oh, yes, quite. But let us be sure to collect the contents of that vault before departing. 
<laughs> it's one way to get in the vault, huh? Ah, thank you. Those documents are our only hope for surviving this crisis. Let's go. There's no time to lose. I'm half starved after being fed nothing but those terrible sandwiches. Want some chocolate, Professor? My, my. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I hate Chip so much. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know why. I, just, I can't with him. These are known as the Gaia Manuscripts. They tell the legend of a disaster that befell our planet some tens of thousands of years ago. A disaster? Quite. And according to the Gaia Manuscripts, this isn't the first time the planet has been broken apart into pieces. Right, I was expecting him to like break off a chunk or something, not just walk away holding it by the the exposed the chocolate. Lies at the very core of the planet. All the phenomena we've witnessed are the direct result of one creature. The hyper energy organism spawned at the planet's uh -huh. core, Dark Gaia. So how do we stop this Dark Gaia and put the world back together? Luckily, Dark Gaia has yet to be fully reborn. We most likely have Dr. Eggman's premature wake-up call to thank for that. If we act now, we may be able to restore the planet by returning power to the Chaos Emeralds. Sonic, you must travel to each of the temples listed in the Gaia Manuscripts. The planet's power will restore the Chaos Emeralds, and in turn, the Chaos Emeralds will restore the planet and help it heal naturally. I'm still thinking Chip is secretly the Dark Gaia being or whatever. I mean, they're definitely connected in some way, right? Now, where are the Gaia temples? It's a good question. Where are they? <laughs> Deciphering the Gaia manuscripts will reveal the location of the temples. The initial results of my analysis indicate there is a temple in Maserai. Eggman seeks the same clues we do, those that lead to Gaia temples. With Dark Gaia unstable, we can get the upper hand off to Maserai. The premature dark guy? Yeah, basically, like, still a child, essentially. You were, you were so right about Chip and Dark Guy Connected, but I'm not trying to spoil it. I appreciate the no spoilers. Alright, back to Mazurai. Village. Again. Sonic, some guy with a weird mustache is causing a panic. Wait, is that Eggman? Yes, yes it is. I'm sorry about him. He's a little odd, but... Doesn't seem like much of a panic. It seems like these people are just ready to kick Eggman's ass. Oh, never mind. Okay, now they're looking a little more scared. There we go. <laughs> you go, kid. So you dare to defy me, do you? What? Get wrecked. Sonic. Yo, Eggman. Thanks for that little skydiving adventure the other day. I should have known you'd still be alive, you stubborn little hedgehog. What are you doing out here? I, I prefer stylized. <laughs> In any case, I'm busy. Farewell. For the humans. Hey, wait, that's playing dirty. Come back. Just ignore him. Is everyone here all right? Uh, okay, now can we go to the shop? What kind of things can we buy? I'm legitimately curious. Hi, my name is Anna. I was so scared I thought my heart would stop beating. Who are they, anyway? And what would they want with our simple village? It's a good question. Probably the Gaia Temple, you know, the thing they <laughs> said they were looking for. Hello, my name is Kwame. We are so grateful for your, all of your help. Even we villagers seldom go near the Holy Temple. Okay, that's the music. 
I thought someone was screaming. <laughs> it's just like random shouts in the background of the music, though. You are the one they call Sonic? I thank you for coming to our rescue. I am Gwek, the village elder. You are both heroes for saving the village. How can we repay you? Oh, you'd like to know about the temple. All right, then. Although I do not know you, I do know that you have a good heart. How do I know? I have my ways, you see. And you do have those tablet fra fragments. Press push twist. <laughs> the product is complete. Came out quite well, wouldn't you say? I don't know. I can't see what the hell you're talking about, my guy. <laughs> it's called a planet tablet. This tablet is the key to open Gaia Gate, the pathway to Gaia Temple. In our village... Look at that. Try that again. In our village is a holy shrine from ages past. It is, in reality, Gaia Gate. Insert the tablet in the door at the gate to open the way to Gaia Temple. Seek guardians of planet tablets like me elsewhere and ask for their help. Obtain the first continent's planet tablet. So many saving screens. Oh, come on. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Sacred Shrine. Let's get one more level in, man. I'm going to end up falling asleep here. <laughs> I want to play one more day level. We haven't had a day level in like an hour. What? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Bruh. Okay. It's a light stage. So presumably... Since it's a sun stage, we'll turn back into to normal Sonic once we uh go How through the door. Going, Sonic? Maybe that means it'll open now. Let's go see. Right? Uh I'm a little worried. <laughs> we turned dark as soon as we went beyond the, the door in the other temple. Come on, game. I mean, it, it was a star, right? I mean, that's stars or suns. <laughs> okay, day level. Ooh, with Eggman. I'm Sonic, bro. What other consoles do I have? Most of them. <laughs> I don't have an original Xbox. And I don't have the newest Xbox. Um, I don't have anything by Atari. I think that pretty much sums it up. Yeah, I got the I got everything by Sony. Um everything by Nintendo except for like the Virtual Boy. And from moving and stuff a lot as a kid, I don't have all of my handheld consoles anymore. Well, actually, I don't have any of my consoles from when I was a kid anymore, sadly. Uh all of those got lost between a house fire that I had back in the day and just like moving all the time and whatnot. But I've been able to rebuy basically everything from Nintendo and Sony. And then I got the Sega Genesis and Dreamcast. So, so most of most of the major consoles. The only real ones I'm missing at this point are the the original Xbox and uh, the newest Xbox. But you had a house fire, yeah, long time ago though. But yeah, it's uh, it was 12 years ago at this point. Aw, some bitch. How do we actually hit him? Okay, there we go. Whenever he, he tries to clamp us, we just gotta dash at him.
kind of sucks we missed the what two cycles i guess because i just son of a bitch <laughs> i just didn't think about that but it makes total sense can we get like two attacks on him now Okay, this is different. I can't. Uh. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think I had the right idea for it, but what do we? Can we attack him here? Oh my god! I'm gonna end up dying. <laughs> I can't catch up to him. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! This is not going well. Okay. So, bottom, middle. Uh, well, I didn't get down fast enough. It's fine. We got one ring. That's all we need. I was dashing! Did I do it too... I must have did it too early or something. Oh, thank God for the couple rings there. Okay, then dodge this one. And then wait. Dash now? How do we... Oh, 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 we can do a jump attack. Bruh. Okay. I don't know if that was supposed to be obvious, but somehow it completely eluded me. That we were supposed to do a jump attack there. Oh, well, that was, yeah, that was my bad. Nice. There we go. Homing attack. Yeah, well, <laughs> jump attack, homing attack. <laughs> Vernacular aside. <laughs> I like this section. This section is a lot easier for me to handle. <laughs> My small mind can only take so much. Our rank is going to be terrible. I don't know if it's possible to get below B rank. But if it is, that's what's going to happen. Oh, you can do a homing attack there, too. I saw the uh, the red reticule pop up that time. Wait, is there more missiles this time? No, it's still just the three. Oh, oh God. Okay, well... <laughs> Oh, okay. Two attacks. That's fine. Get wrecked. Let's go. Some Sonic games you can get E rank? Holy crap. <laughs> Are we about to get one? No, C. <laughs> Do we unlock anything for a C rank? Judging by his reaction, probably not. <laughs> probably move the story forward technically, but other than that, I'm assuming we get nothing. <laughs>
Noise. One down. What, are there seven? Chaos crystals? I'm struggling to remember here. Seems like everywhere we go, we have to destroy some ancient architecture, man. Just <laughs> Sonic can just not leave it be. Hey, part of the planet's coming back. Nice. It's a Chaos Emerald. Yeah, but how many are there total? I can't remember. I want to say seven, but I'm, I, I'm probably wrong about that. Seven. Oh, I was right. Let's go. <laughs> Said I did play some Sonic, mainly as a kid, but Sonic 1, 2, and 3. I don't think I ever unlocked Super Sonic myself, but I've seen it done on like YouTube and stuff. It's very cool. First continent has been restored. Wait, are all of the continents just floating in the air like that? Sonic. Bro, how is everyone not dead? Noodle, five more bits. Thank you, love. Take a look. How did Tails get footage of that? <laughs> At this rate, you'll have the whole world back together in no time, Sonic. A planet-sized jigsaw puzzle? Sounds like a great excuse to see the world. Wow, the continent is totally back to normal, just like the professor said. Say, I forgot where he told us to go next. Let's head back to Spagonia. Let's not, because I'm going to fall asleep in my chair. But <laughs> thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you all coming and hanging out with me while I played a bit tonight. How was the continents not flo floating away? I mean, they have, like, zero gravity. Honestly, <laughs> like, this makes no sense, man. I... <laughs> I think they need to explain the lore a little bit more deeply here. See, when Dark Guy or whatever the thing from the planet first popped up, I thought they were holding the pieces in place. But I didn't realize it was, like, the entire world that was separated like this. I thought it was just a couple large chunks of it. So this just confuses me more now. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, though, what is today? Today is Sunday. So Monday I'm off, Tuesday I'm off, but I'm working on the uh, the six hour game jam game that hopefully I'll be releasing on Wednesday for anyone that's subscribed. That link goes up on uh, Discord. And then Wednesday we finished Kingdom Hearts. So we're gonna be playing Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion because I wanna finish that game and I played through like half of it on stream. It would feel dumb to not finish it on stream now. So we're gonna do that instead of the next uh, rolled game the next random game as for sonic unleashed here i've enjoyed it enough that i think i will put it on the list of games that people can vote on if they want to see me finish it then uh yeah i wouldn't mind finishing this one on there and while i don't know the how long to beat score i feel like it's probably not super long what's the discord it is there and if you have um your twitch and discord link to each other you should be able to find it that way, too. Um, or maybe you already have to be in the Discord channel, actually, I think. And then if you sub, you get access to the sub-only channel, which isn't really used that often, except for uh, last month I started doing monthly game jams. I only have six hours to make the game, so, like, they're nothing amazing. They're very simple games, but <laughs> those go out to, to subs on Discord. And then the current plan, I've talked with the, the guy that does six hours worth of art for them. And uh, the current plan is after roughly six months, those games will just be put up on like itch.io or something like that for free if people want to download them and try them. Or maybe I'll just share the, the link publicly for the web version or whatever. I don't know. We haven't ironed out the details yet, but yeah. So for people that don't want to or can't sub or whatever, that way they can uh, try them out too after, after you know, an exclusivity period for the, for the supporters as a thank you. Um, but yeah, so there's a link for the Discord if you want to join that though. As for me, like I said, I'm very tired. I'm going to hop off, get a shower, 
grab a quick bite to eat and go to bed probably. <laughs> but thank you again, everybody, for coming and hanging out with me. I appreciate it. It's nice having people to hang out with while I play these games. In the meantime, though, have a good night, everyone. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all. You never played Nintendo all that much, Addy? I uh, play a little bit of everything. <laughs> I I just like video games, honestly. I can't think... Besides, like, traditional sports games, I, uh, I don't really think there's a genre of games I don't really like. And there's some sports games that I'm... Um,